Hi, so in this video, I am going to teach you how to make an oven mitt that looks like this one here. And it has like a different color on the inside, rather. Um, so, um, to get started on the oven mitt, you will need um, fabric. So, you need um, about um, a half a uh, fourth of a yard to half a yard um, of um, a, you know type of fabric um, that you want your oven mitt and then you need about another half or a fourth of a yard um, of fabric for um, the inside of the oven mitt so like for example here's my fabric for the outside it's cupcake fabric um, so yeah, so I have this for the outside, and then I have this, like, pink, I think it has hearts on it, um, fabric for the inside, and you will want, um, your inside fabric to kind of, like, have, like, match, um, a part of, like, your outside fabric, like, for example, these both are pink. Um, or like if you had like, um, like a, like a strange pattern, but like with different colors, you could like pick one of the colors in the pattern and use a color of that for the inside. Just make them like, you know, kind of go together. You know, you don't want like two totally different fabrics that don't go together at all. Um, so yeah, so we need that. And, um, so first you, you cut out your fabric, um, so you want to, uh, make, like, a square, you know, um, not sure, it's like probably about, a, um, you know, a, a little more than the size of a paper, so probably like, I don't know, let's see here. I don't know, probably like 10, 10 by 10 wide by 17 tall. Um, because you want it to um, fit this, because you will, this is going to be my cutout. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, probably about, I mean, I cut out my fabric. Yeah, my, my fabric's about 10, 10 wide by 17 tall. Just, I give it a little extra room, you know, just in, just in case. Um, uh, because, you know, you don't want to, in case you, um, you need room to, like, cut this out. So, yeah, so here is what your fabric looks like once it's cut out. So here's the square of my outside fabric. And here is the square of my inside fabric. And I have four of them. So I have two, two outsides. Two outsides. And two inside squares. And then um, you will also um, want to um, get some like... Um, I forget what it's called, batting, I think. Um, it's like this, like, soft, um, stuff that you put, like, on the inside of, like, an oven mitt, you know, to, um, give a cushion and, um, make it, like, more heat resistant. Um, so yeah, so you want to get some of that, and you want to cut out two squares of that. So here's my one, here's one square of that that I cut out. And here is the other one. Yep, okay. So I have my fabric cut out. And um, now you want to take two of your pieces of fabric, one, one outside square fabric and a rectangle, <laughs> and um, one inside, and one. Yeah, rectangle of the inside fabric. So, 
um, you put, as my teacher said, you put pretty side to pretty side. So you put the front side, you know, the side with, um, you know, not the back side that's like all like washed out. Um, but the front side of one, you take the front side and put it to the front side of the other one. So that way you have the two front sides together, and then the two back sides are on the outside, like that. And then you want to pin it on the top. Um, So you want to pin it on the top like this, all the way across. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so now I have my fabric pinned at the top, like so. Um, and oh, just at the top so that you have, like the rest of it is open. And so now you're going to sew straight line across the top here um yeah the very top where you pinned okay so i have sewed um the line at the top and now i'm going to do that for the other um fabric okay so i did the second one um now I'm going to turn it around like this. So take, go undo it, or not undo it, like open it, and then take the two pretty sides, so like the sides that um, you have the pattern on it. So I have this side, and um, then you're going to take your padding square and you're going to put it in inside here so it's going to put it like so so it's going to look something like that and then you're going to pin it um, at the top Okay, so now I have um, the padding inside of the two pieces of fabric, um, and I pinned it, um, and I ironed it too to make it, you know, more like flat, so you can iron it too. Um, and so yeah, and I did that for both fabrics. So now I have two of them, and I pin both them. Um, so now you're going to quilt it. Um, so when you quilt, you can basically just, like, you can do anything for quilting. You can, like, do, like, random, random, like, stitches, um, like, all over the place. Or you can do, like, squiggles, like, up and down, like, squiggles, like that, which, which is what I did for this one. See, you can see the squiggles. Um, and, or you could do like straight lines, like that way. Or basically whatever you want. You basically just want the padding to sew the padding to the, or the fabric to the padding. Um, so yeah, so you can do anything. Quilt, so you, the quilt, both sides. Okay, so I'm done quilting. Um, one side so um, so as you can see like I did straight lines across that go like all the way down the fabric like on the other side. Um, so yeah so I did that and now I'm going to do that for um, the other two um, squares of fabric and quilt them together so I finished quilting my fabric, as you can see both fabrics, um, here's one, and 
here's the other one. So yeah, I've done both of them. Now I just, now I'm gonna um, pin on, um, the cut the pin on this to um to the quilted fabric so I'm gonna pin it on this way for one of the quilted fabric um and then cut it out to this and then take my other quilted fabric and then turn the cutout around and pin it like so on the other one and then cut that out. Okay, so I cut out the um, pattern um, with the, from the quilted fabric. So here's one half and here is the other. So see how they're going like different ways um yeah that's what you want because you're going to like put them together and so then they're going to match up when you put them together so now you take you put the two pattern um two fabric you um the fabric you want like on the outside um together and then you have you guys with the fabric uh, for that you want like on the inside of the oven then. And you're going to put these together and you're going to pin it like around like so. Uh, around and then um, sew around the whole thing. But don't sew um, the very bottom. So yeah. And see how I have like this close at the bottom? That's because I um I cut out um the the bottom part of fabric where I like sewed it together in order to put the um padding in. I sew I cut out um that using the bottom so that's already like close. So yeah, you guys know if you want or if you want you could just like close it like for this one I didn't do that, so I just had to like fold it over and close it like that. So, 